sometimes I feel like some of the ones that do better, they also ways that we can judge via SDG standards. I don't know, but also, um, this is actually a Japanese Keter SCP, which is Gasha do Kuro Yokai. AKA 2863. All right. Item SCP-2863, object class Keter. Special containment procedures. Due to the impertinent nature of, of 2863 instances, long-term containment is functionally impossible. Should an instance of 2863 be cited in the field, Mobile well, Task Force Omicron-3 is is to move in and neutralize the entity by the use of ultra bright floodlights. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is uh, a manifestation, uh, an SCP version of an old Japanese yokai. Yeah, yeah, I know what this is too. Now that I'm reading this, yeah. Any any civilians exposed to twenty sixty three are to be given Class A amnestics and released. Description. SCP-2863 refers to a population of spectral entities resembling giant approximately 30 meters tall animated human skeletons that manifest within the borders of Japan. The exact number of SCP-2863 instances is not known, but at least 206 separate individuals have been cataloged. Instances of 2863 will only appear after sunset as they lose corporeal form if exposed to light, brighter than approximately 1.1 lux. The exact process by which this occurs is, is currently not understood. Disappearance in this matter is temporary as instances have been cited on nights following their neutralization. A possible side effect of this phenomenon is 2863's inability to be photographed by any known means. Research into the nature and relationship between these phenomena is ongoing. It is not currently known whether or not 2863 instances are sapient, as their behavior consists, consists solely of the capture and consumption of humans. 2063 instances are capable of moving very quietly, though manifestations are commonly pre preceded by a faint sound most commonly described as rattling. Due to their silence, size, and proclivity for the very dark areas, 2063 can easily and quickly catch humans on foot. Once an instance of 2863 has caught a human victim, it will bite off the victim's head and drain their blood into its mouth. This blood is apparently absorbed into 2863's bone, despite the lack of any digestive me mechanisms. 2863 instances will become extremely hostile towards any who attempt to impede its feeding behavior. Due to increasing urban development and foundation monitoring, no fatalities due to 2063 instances have been recorded since October 31st, 2008. Monitoring and control of 2063 was formally carried out by the IJAMEA, also known as the Imperial Japanese Anomalous Matters Examination Agency, until the agency's dissolution. Several IJAMEA agents were brought on to aid in the creation of the Foundation's control measures and continued their service as full Foundation employees. Currently, 2863 is being successfully controlled by MTF-03. Below is a translated transcript of the IJAMEA's Entity Summary for 2863. The Gashatoko Kuro are a race of malevolent yokai, native to the whole of Imperial Japan. They will appear at night out of the darkness and seek the blood of men. Conventional weaponry is entirely useless against the Gashido Kuro, and they can only be banished by the morning sun or by bright lights of human creation. 
Gashado Kuro are created by mass death, by the concentrated suffering of hundreds. While Gashado Kuro will eventually fade, they remain for centuries after their creation, lingering until their sorrow has diffused and faded. There is no way to hasten this process. The Imperial Japanese Anomalous Matters Examination Agency is currently aware of 203 separate Gashado Kuro. Shinto ritual may banish a Gashikuro, but there's no way to destroy one permanently, which is IJAMEA records indicate a number of traditional practices for neutralizing 2863, ranging from entirely infectious to as effective as bright light. MTF 03 operatives assigned to 2063 are to be trained in effective practices as detailed in a training manual. Such rituals are to be considered an emergency alternative to standard neutralization protocol. Despite many failed attempts, no attempt at communication has been successful, and as such, the Gashado Kuro has proved too hostile to be enlisted into the Yokai Battalion. Battalion of IJA composed entirely of anomalous entities. The IJAMEA will continue its attempt to bring the Gashado Kuro under Imperial control. However, the process has, has been slow and grueling and many men have been lost. If Japan is to continue on its path, then the Gashado Kuro must be reined in, lest their number grow too large and they become more than just a nuisance. The three additional instances of 2063 catalogs since the Foundation takeover of IJAMEA assets are detailed below. Uh, 204 is believed to, to have first appeared in January of 1938 near Nanjing, China. Instance is notably large, reaching an estimated 35 meters in height, and is identified by several damage. So, identified by severe damage to the pelvis, skull, and ribs. For reasons unknown, the IJAMEA have no known written record of 204 despite seven years of first-hand reports of sightings from the Chinese. An instance was cataloged by the Foundation in 1946. 205 was first cataloged in 1954, several kilometers southeast of Fukuya City, although unconfirmed reports in that area date back to 1946. Instances identified by severe burning to entirely of the skeleton, this is emits low levels of gamma radiation. 206 first appeared on March 15, 2011, approximately 40 meters offshore of the of Tohoku, Japan. Instance is identified by a total lack of teeth and severe damage to the back of the skull. Instance was neutralized after approaching the city of Sendai and exposing itself to, to the light of the city. Instance has been sighted three times since the initial sighting, each time appearing offshore. Okay. They're gonna make this super fucking brutal. Please don't tell me they modify it. This is something you have to be super careful with because it's not just their SCP. It's a yokai. It's an old yokai. Yeah. And it's dealing with the embodiment of mass death and suffering. That's... Uh, oh, wait. Let's first... See, does it have? Yep, it has yep. credit cards and license. Also, I want to point out something it has that probably keep it from approaching lamps. Ah, uh, yeah. Lit lamps. And here's the thumbnail, Jerry. Or yeah. Of course, they added it big titted women in the co left corner. They added big titted anime women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm pretty sure the skeletons wouldn't even look like that. They're supposed to be look human. They wouldn't have yeah. sharp teeth like that. Yeah. And I hate to break it if they think that sh uh, human teeth can't tear human flesh. It very well can. <laughs> I didn't even notice those were teeth. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a four for thumbnail. All right, let me get rid of the thumbnail. We ready? Yeah. Let's hope this isn't racist. <laughs> oh, yeah. The rattling intensified. Hero couldn't see where it's coming from uh, in the darkness, but he was sh They literally started off with racist music. <laughs> Keep going. Sure, it was getting nearer. He looked left, and then right. Where was it? And what was it? He screamed out, Show yourself, demon! And just like that, the sound stopped. Not just the rattling, but the wind, the trees, and even the air There's had gone deathly quiet. Sorry. Also, doesn't it not show up in the state? They're showing it him in the city? Yeah, it would... Probably show up in like a forest or something, away from or light. The, or the rural area. Yeah. Rural areas don't really have lampposts like that. Yeah, which means, which means he's technically safe where he's sitting. Yeah. City areas are supposed to be safe. The city areas do have parks with trees, but that wouldn't make it dangerous. It has light. Yeah. He looked to the skies, but couldn't see anything moving. A shadow slowly passed over him. He felt the strength go from his body, and his heart rate increase as his breathing became shallower. He swallowed hard and slowly turned around. What he saw made his blood run cold. Looming above him, the giant spectral skeleton opened its mouth and reached That's out towards him. Now, they make it look more like an American demon. Well, a yokai doesn't just refer to demons, they also refer to some other things. Yeah, well, I'm trying to refer to, like, you know, the Americans speculate what skeleton demons look like well, compared to the. I see it more like a uh, ghost. Yeah, that too. This is how they're visualizing a ghost suffering. He screamed in horror and harnessed what energy was left in his legs. He dashed from the bench and sprinted for his motorcycle. It was only maybe a hundred meters away, but it looked like a hundred kilometers. He That's heard a roar. Also, he was safe where he was standing. The skeleton would dematerialize. Dashing goes faster. What the hell kind of slow walking? And a crashing of trees. He didn't need to look back. He knew it was coming for him. Closer and closer, he could hear its heavy footfalls gaining on him. How could he outrun a monster that was a building high? He kept going. His legs felt like jello now. Almost there. A few more seconds and he'd be on his bike and racing away from it. As he reached his bike, he jumped on and with a breath of relief, he turned the ignition. Nothing. The starter clicked and died. He tried again. Nothing. This was it. He was going to die. He squeezed his eyes shut and prepared for the inevitable. If he was going to die, he wouldn't face it like a coward. He forced his eyes open and turned his head towards the rattling sound. Gone. Don't there was nothing there. Don't he no looked <laughs> around and saw the fallen. Wait, look at the crown. There's a bunch of black goo. Yeah, they had that fall off the SCP for whatever reason. Right. <laughs> trees in the distance, but no skeleton. 
He raised his head and squinted his eyes as he looked into the brightly lit street lamp above him. Hmm, yokai. The Shinto monk nodded with a look of despair in his face as he reached down and picked up an aged parchment. This one, oh, no. especially my- I'm sorry, but that was literally- I mean, I'm sorry, if you go to an old monk, are they just gonna go nod and go- No. They'll probably do like some more prayers or spiritual rituals or something like that. Oh, so where are the fucking walls in the temple? <laughs> I don't know. Let me look up temples and... I, I, I've actually done like virtual tours and temples. They don't look like this. <laughs> they okay. have walls. <laughs> I am not hallucinating. Also, I want to comment. Those are not traditional Japanese teacups. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's see what other racist bullshit they pull. Malevolence. It cannot be killed. Only banished for a time. Blood. It wants blood. Very angry. Why are they making it sound like he's struggling to speak English? Because it's a racist trope. God. Starving skeleton. But why me? What have I done to anger this spirit? Gasha Dakaru, well, so very angry. Pain Chinese spirit. Yeah. They hate the all living humans. The ancient wise man, a lot of yeah. old Chinese charts, not cartoons, Chinese movies and other yeah. things depicting Chinese people. There have been some, uh, there's been some things like that from, oh, that also has that depiction, but also always use Chinese characters. Yeah. So they're using this Chinese like thing to to show a Japanese monk. Yep. Anyways, let's keep going. It's gonna get worse. Humans, their anger takes millennia to dissipate. Perhaps you were at the wrong place at the wrong time. Or or what? I'm not sure, but I've heard tales of revenge. After all, the first Gashadakaru was conjured to avenge the death of a father. The sorceress, Takiyashi Hime. Taira no Masakado, a renowned samurai, had been attacked by his cousins I'm going due to, to a. Hime means princess. Was she a princess or a sorceress? We'll find out. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this just keeps sounding more and more, <laughs> and I don't think it's going to get better. Judging, yeah. Marriage disagreements. Avenging this attack, Masakado had retaliated against one of his cousins, resulting in the death of one of his uncles. Another cousin of Masakado challenged him to a duel and lost. That same cousin then formed an alliance with another relative and waged war on Masakado. Even though vastly outnumbered, Masakado won the day. In 939 AD, Masakado led a revolt against the central government and conquered surrounding areas, culminating in his being named New Emperor. The government in Kyoto responded with placing a price on his head. Shortly after, another of his cousins captured him and decapitated him, presenting his head in Kyoto. Masakado's daughter, Takiyashi Hime, was angered by the disrespect her father had been shown. She was a dark and powerful sorceress and conjured the first Gashadakaru from the bodies of the men of her father's last battle. The Gashadakaru attacked Kyoto until Masakado's head was returned to Shibasaki, a fishing village that would later become Tokyo. So you're telling me this yokai wants revenge on me? No, I didn't say that. I only said it's possible. Can you think of anyone 
alive or passed to the spirit world that would want to harm you. I have no enemies. I have no one. My wife died during childbirth and my daughter. My daughter was lost to me three months ago in the tsunami. Nobody cares for me. Nobody hates me. Reika had been only eight years old when she had been lost to him. The unfortunate incident had happened on a cold afternoon with almost no forewarning. He had grieved, screamed to the heavens, and even contemplated ending it all. They had recovered her body weeks later, along with hundreds of other poor souls lost and returned by the sea. The effects of the water and sea life had left little to identify her by. The authorities had informed him if this was the case, they would need to try other methods to identify the body. Did she have dental records? No. Her teeth had been perfect, just like the rest of her. The police nodded with their heads down and instructed him to not concern himself with that now. They had other ways to confirm the body. You, sh I'm pretty sure you will still have dental records if your teeth weren't perfect uh, or are perfect. Yeah, actually, in Japan, and dental checks on a regular basis, no matter how healthy it is, and they'll give you a rating and tell you how you can improve it. Yeah, I actually. So they're I, literally judging this by American standards. Yeah, I, I actually know about that too because I I follow this one uh teacher that went to Japan to te teach English and showing uh what to do and what not to do in Japan as well as some cool things. Uh, and they say that one of the things as a teacher, every now and then she has to go do a dentist and a doctor checkup and she gets rated. Yeah, that means if that child was that old, they would have dental records no matter how good her teeth were, no matter how yeah. good. So this makes no sense. Right, it doesn't. And once again, it shows how little they know about Japan. It's like an outsider trying to put it together using Chinese and American. Where is the Japanese information? I guess the one story is Japanese information, maybe. I don't know if it's a real story or not. Right. Yeah. The articles put in the work. Like, even the joke SCPs, when they make joke, when they're joke in Japan or something like that, they get things correct. But a fucking video game from a content farm can't. It feels like this video, the art, feels like they're less trying to drop characters or people. It's more like trying to make a a fucking like they're trying mm -hmm. to skip trying to draw Japanese people without being racist by doing it anime style, but I feel like that makes it more racist. Yeah, also, the, the guy with the black hat, he looks like he's a nuclear radiation victim. <laughs> I think he just looks very exhausted. He's realistic. <laughs> there are lots of people in Japan who overwork. Yeah. He looks like he works too much and maybe drinks a bit too many energy drinks. Yeah. Let's continue. As Hiro looked down upon the body, he saw a deep scar on the left leg, on the shin. He fell to his knees and cried. The police looked down in confusion and tried to comfort him. As he touched the scar, he looked up at them and said, It's my Rika. It's my little girl. He remembered the day she got that scar vividly. It had been two weeks before her sixth birthday and Hiro was taking her to the park. She was always a happy child and never requested toys or games. But instead, a day with Mother Nature was all she ever wanted. She had played on the swing set, climbed the ladder and gone down the slide. Hiro had sat watching her in the distance, smiling and enjoying his book. She called out, Papa, look at me, look at me, I'm so high. He had smiled and nodded, wow, good job, but hadn't looked up from his book. He had heard the scream moments later and a heavy thud. His heart stopped as he dropped his book and saw her lying on the ground. What had happened? How had she fallen? She wasn't even close to the swing set. It slowly dawned on him. She had climbed the tree. Wait, okay, if the six in that position, it would be more like a circle stab scar, not like a weird symbol. Also, <laughs> they had him look up one moment and not notice he was in a tree the next. How can you look at her without noticing what you're looking at? 
<laughs> hey, I'm confused. Tree. She had climbed it and fell, while he ignorantly nodded and paid her no attention. He ran over to her and picked her up into his arms as she cried. Rika, are you okay? You weren't watching. You didn't take care of me, she wailed. I'm so sorry. Never again. I promise you'll never get hurt again. He hugged her deeply as her crying slowed. As he looked her over, he saw a deep gash in her left shin. He thought to Again, you wouldn't remove the fucking stick! Also, it wouldn't make that mark. That makes a Yeah, like I said, it would leave like a circle mark. Like a little circle. That's because it's the stick is cylinder. To himself, my poor little girl. That'll leave a scar. The monk had given him a chance to use against the Gasha Dokaru, but had warned him it would only protect him for a short time. This chance and bright light were the only known ways to temporarily banish it. There was no way to kill a Gasha Dokaru. It was already dead. It would only leave once its anger had been spent. Hiro had decided to go and find it that night. He didn't care if he lived or died anymore anyway. He could be with Rika once again. He sat on the bench and waited. Time passed slowly, but still nothing happened. At around 3 a.m., he started to feel his eyes get heavy. That's when he heard it, that slow rattle. It was here, his time had come. Rika, I'll be with you soon. He stood up defiantly. Yes, you will have your meal tonight, Yokai, but I won't scream and I won't run. You won't have the satisfaction of my fear. As his eyes focused on the giant skeletal creature before him, he felt the air go from his lungs. No, this isn't what he wanted. This isn't what Rika would have wanted, but it was too late. He fumbled in his pockets for the chant the monk had given him, but it was no use. He could barely feel anything anymore. Would his luck hold out a second time? He had to try. He didn't want to die. He turned and ran once again for his motorcycle. Behind him he heard those familiar, heavy footsteps tearing through the trees and the bushes. He wouldn't be so lucky a second time. Gone. Where was it? His bike wasn't there. He remembered now. He had parked Yeah on the far side of the street this evening. He hadn't planned oh, to need it ever again. This was it. He turned and faced the Gashadokaru. It had stopped, mere feet in front of him, but it just looked at him. Why wasn't it reaching for him? The street lamp, the monk had told him, bright light banished Gashadokaru. He laughed and pointed, his fear leaving him now and a false sense of courage replacing it. You can't reach me, Yokai. You've lost. And as he laughed and jeered, his breath suddenly caught in his throat, like a lump of coal. He went deathly cold. Upon the left shin of the Gashadokaru was a scar. Rika's scar. How? It was impossible. How could this monster be his little girl? Gashadokaru was supposed to be created from anger and pain at death. Why would his little girl be angry? And why would she come back for him? His thoughts. Spirits, not yeah. one. His sister, not sister, his daughter would. Makes no sense. Yeah. Trailed off. He understood. He had promised her that day in the park. He had promised to always take care of her, to never let anyone or anything hurt her again. He had failed as he did that day. He was her pain and her anger. He had cursed her to roam with endless hunger and pain for centuries. He looked deep into its eyes. I'm so sorry, Rika, but I can make it right. Daddy can fix this. A faint smile crossed his lips as he left the warm, protective beam of the street lamp. SCP-2863 oh, refers wow. to a population of oh. spectral entities resembling giants, approximately 30 meter tall, animated human scale Hate to break it to you. Japanese people don't wear kimonos all the damn time or have a sword in their side. They wear normal it's clothes just like everyone else. Japan, right? so just wear oh my god. Skeletons that manifest within the borders of Japan. The exact number of SCP 2863 instances is not known, but at least 206 separate individuals have been cataloged. Instances of SCP-2863 will only appear after sunset, as they lose corporeal form if exposed to light brighter than approximately 1.1 lux. 
It is not currently known whether or not SCP-2863 instances are sapient, as their behavior consists solely of the capture and consumption of humans. SCP-2863 instances are capable of moving very quietly, though manifestations are commonly preceded by a faint sound, most commonly described as rattling. Due to their silence, size, and proclivity for very dark areas, SCP-2863 can easily and quickly catch humans on foot. Once an instance of SCP-2863 has caught a human victim, it will bite off its victim's head and drain their blood into its mouth. This blood is apparently absorbed into SCP-2863's bones, despite the lack of any digestive mechanism. SCP-2863 instances will become extremely hostile towards any who attempt to impede its feeding behavior. The Gasha Dokaru are a race of malevolent yokai, native to the whole of Imperial Japan. Why does it have a bow? Don't judge the yokai. The they will appear at night. The the entity of hundreds of suffering dead souls can wear whatever it likes. It's whatever it's gender it likes. Nah. It's probably honestly a mix gender of dead people. Mm-hmm. Darkness and seek the blood of men. Conventional weaponry is entirely useless against the Gasha Dokaru, and they can only be banished by. Wait, hold on. Bookworm said because it's a girl. Lol. Look, this looks like normal foundation thing. This looks like normal foundation thing. What the fuck is this? <laughs> you don't want to know. It looks like they just took like a thing, a Creative Commons military person. And put that there. Yeah. Only be banished by the morning sun or by the bright light of human creation. Gasha Dokaru are created by mass death, by the concentrated suffering of hundreds. While the Gasha Dokaru will eventually fade, they remain for centuries after their creation, lingering until their sorrow has diffused and faded. There is no way to hasten the process. The I, Imperial what? Japanese Anomalous Matters Examination they, Agency is currently aware of 2034. What? I, okay. Yeah. Or separate Gasha Dokaru. Shinto ritual may banish a Gasha Dokaru, but there is no way to destroy one permanently. Loss oh and God. suffering can cloud the mind of the most resilient person. Guilt and blame are normal human emotions, but be sure they are properly allocated, lest you be haunted by a memory. As always, have a care. Removal of character slash license. Let's see, did they even... Did they even include the... The agency? Even... Right at the very end. I don't count that. Because they don't mention the agency until the end. And they don't mention the yokai battalion. They also didn't talk about Dash 204, Dash 205, or Dash 206. Also, they acted like the SCP could pop up in cities because the only times it popped up in the video cities. Yeah, well, that probably go from Devates and Plot video. Oh, well, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, um, real characters, they didn't talk about the three special instances, and they didn't really talk about the, the special agency. Three? Yeah. Added Gorn on its four. <laughs> yeah. Like, it already was violent, just not as that violent. They always seem to find a way. Yeah, deviates from the plot of the article? Four. Four. Granted, there wasn't, like, specific women in the article. Hmm. It really wasn't. Yeah, they didn't remove any women, so I guess that's a zero. Yeah. But I just like it because there was so much racism. Yeah. Okay, so it's... I mean, from one out of ten, how would you... I mean, it did get a bad score. Yeah. 
I'm just saying outside of the SD score, racism score, run from one to ten. <laughs> I, I can't even rate it on that. I'm guessing that's a ten. That's something you'd say about the ten you. Yeah. 